Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal, uh, just going over the practice test. So if you guys want to do this, uh, again it's, help, it's supposed to help you to prepare for the actual test. And so I'm just going to do these problems one by one. So if you don't, uh, if you want a specific problem, just go through the videos or the playlist and find the problem that you want. Okay? But I'm going to do all of them, looking first here at number 1A. So Americans spend an average of... 342,841,720 dollars daily on toys and we know this uh, by the way none of these problems are really meant to be realistic they're just numbers and ways that that we do the math okay so we're looking more at technique and form rather than applicability so uh, looking first at the three this right here is in so we have tens and hundreds, we got the thousands and then the millions and that three right there is in the hundreds so that would be three hundred million so I've got my three hundred there here we have forty two so that's also in the millions so I'll include that with the three hundred so I have my three hundred forty two and that's in millions so we've taken care of these numbers here. Let's look next at these ones. These are in thousands. That's first we have the eight, so that's eight hundred. And we need to look now at the numbers after the eight, which is this forty-one right here. So eight hundred forty-one. And again this is in the thousands place. And finally we'll look at these last three numbers, uh, these are not thousands or millions, they're just hundreds and tens. So that would be 700 from the 7 right there. And finally the 20 right here, so 20. And there we go, that's it in words. Uh, maybe some of you guys get, get that all in one line, but uh, based on this... Uh, electronic stuff. Uh, that's about the best I can do and make it legible so hopefully that helps you out. Part B we have round this number to the nearest hundred thousand. So I've rewritten the number here and we're gonna look specifically at the hundred thousands position which is the eight right here. Now since we're rounding it to the hundred thousands we've got to look at the number to its right immediately to its right and if, if it's going to change, the number to the right has to be 5 or bigger, which would involve us rounding up. Since that number is not greater than 5, right? If we compare 5 and 4, 5 is greater than 4, so we are not going to round up. What this does is it keeps the 8 and 8. The numbers to the left stay the same. And the numbers to the right will change to zeros. And now we've rounded this to the nearest 100,000.